What is up guys, my name is Golden Badger, welcome back to my channel, in today's video we're going to be talking about Anthem, and in particular the open world of Anthem, but before we do guys, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see me make a video of next, if you find yourself enjoying the video at any point, make sure to like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to help me out, and you actually want to see more of my videos. So, Anthem, Anthem's a big open world game, it's not as big as a lot of open world games that we have played recently, like Assassin's Creed Origins, Grand Theft Auto V, Red Dead Redemption, 2, but it's a very unique world because it tackles a concept that not a lot of game designers would actually dare to take on, and this being verticality. A lot of open worlds in games are flat and barren when there's not, not a whole lot going on in there, like missions, events, or just fun exploration. And the world of Anthem is looking to take full advantage of this concept through clever world design, beautiful and diverse locations, like wide open mountain ranges and deep dungeons and tunnels, all well connected and fun to explore. This is a very unique and cool design that goes very nicely with the traversal mechanics of the game, like flight, which I will talk about in the video in the future. The open and the VIP get demo have given us a chance to explore a small portion of the beautiful map and it hasn't disappointed so far. Uh, I love how you can go anywhere and it's all filled with beautiful fauna and flora, unique looking plants and trees, also weird creatures like the grabbits and the brutes and the rhino stuff animals, the wyverns, all very unique, all very cool. This never gives you a feeling of emptiness and I'm curious to see what the full game at launch will give us in terms of other biomes and areas we can explore. Verticality really gives all of this a lot of extra levels of adversity as a cool dungeon could be right below your feet when you're exploring, you never really know. All of this gives exploration a nice twist, the world is very unpredictable and I can't I can't wait to play the game February 22nd. Uh, I would like to see a handful of environments uh, in, the, in the full game that are as fun and unique to explore as the stuff we've seen so far. I trust Bioware with this. I'm, I'm, I'm confident that the game will deliver its, on its promises. I'm, I think we're going, to be, we're going to be really in for a treat when this one so anthem's a nice world stunning amazing very fun to explore and javelins that are giving to us if you would like to see a video made uh, of this of these javelins in the future let me know if you find yourself enjoying the video let me know in the comments uh, leave a like and subscribe if you want to stay tuned to the channel thank you so much for your time i know it's a short video i don't have time for a longer one but i hope it's okay for you guys thank you so much for your time and have a good one goodbye